I think intersection is the micro and the macrocosm of the world. You can look at one singular piece of art, one line in a play, one musical note, and from that particular juncture, you can see the entire world in a way. Um, sounds kind of Buddhist, but you know, they said you could always see a universe in a mustard seed. And I really find that to be the case with a lot of the art that we produce. If it's, if it's a drawing from a really young, uh, passionate kid in seven teepees who we work with a lot, who is just discovering his or her ability to, to convey their, their life and their way of thinking and their ideas through a drawing and just that eureka moment, I think um, it is the macro and the micro of the eureka moments that um, Intersection has been doing for 46 years and that we're still continuing to strive to do. One of the eureka moments for me um, was back in 2006. We did an exhibition with the local artist uh, Ben Don and Elizabeth Moy. It was a photography installation exhibition. Ben's work, um, this is one particular anecdote about that, Ben's work was looking at um, the consequences of the Vietnam War and he produces these absolutely gorgeous chlorophyll prints where images actually get embedded in plant life. And he was looking actually at the side of the consequences of American life in Vietnam, which is really resonant obviously uh, 40 some years later. I was gallery sitting one Saturday and um, a young man had come into the gallery space and seemed quite agitated and you know, there was actually a little bit of alcohol in his breath and I wasn't really quite sure what he was doing in the space itself. Um, he actually walked into the back office and asked to speak to somebody who was working at Intersection in a very kind of agitated way. I was a little bit nervous. I was the only person in the building that day. And he said, I really need to talk to you outside in the gallery. And so I actually walked with him outside to the gallery. And he actually had pointed at one of the, um, one of the faces in one of Ben's uh, pieces. He took a, a, a page from a section of Life magazine that was literally documenting the hundreds that were dead on the American side for just one week during the Vietnam War. And it turned out that actually the portrait was of his father. And um, at that moment he started to break down and cry and, and said that this is uh, one of the most beautiful ways of remembering um, the life of his father. He, not, he actually never knew his father. He. Uh, his father died in combat in Vietnam, and you know his mother was impregnated before he was actually born, and he got deported. I, I got um, sent out to, to fight in Vietnam. I think that point was like also just a eureka moment that I think we all have those stories of where life interse intersects our, our intersects life, and you can really see the full circle of what we're trying to do in terms of again using art as the window in which to look at life in a in a much more illuminated. Uh, sympathetic, empathetic kind of way.